This blew my mind. I had access to tons of free 3D models on my computer, and I had no idea. So there's a program called Paint 3D, and it came installed with my computer, but I never really played around with it. I was missing out. So if you open up a new project in Paint 3D, you can go to the 3D library, and now I have access to all of these categories. I'm gonna go with dinosaurs because, of course. Now I can choose from all these different models. I can download a Velociraptor, a T-Rex, or my personal favorite dinosaur, the Woolly Mammoth. I can just click on the one I want, so now I have this 3D model of a T-Rex, which is quite cool. It's worth mentioning that you do need an internet connection to access the 3D library. So if I want to download this, I can go to Canvas, and then turn off the canvas, then go to Menu, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a 3D model. I'm going to change the type to FBX, then I'm going to make a new folder, call it T-Rex, go to that folder, give your model a name, and hit save. So we need to prep this inside of Blender before we can use it in Fusion. So I'm just going to delete everything, go to File, Import, FBX, now I'm just going to find the model we made. So now you can see it added something, but it's super tiny. So I'm going to make sure nothing's selected, then right click on this root, and hit delete. That'll get rid of the empty it was attached to. Now I'm going to make it bigger by hitting S and then just dragging that out. Then I can rotate it by hitting R, X, 90. Now it's facing the right way. It's floating above my ground, so I'm just going to hit G and drag that into place. All right, now with our thing selected, we can go to File, Export, and I'm going to export it as an Olympic. You could export it as an FBX, but Olympic tends to work better in Fusion for me. So I'm going to put this in my T-Rex folder, do only select objects, and give it a name then export. Now let's download the textures so that we can use them in Fusion. So with my dinosaur selected, I'm going to go to the UV editing tab. I'm going to select image, save as, and then I'm just going to put this in our TRX folder and hit save as image. Then I'm going to click this little drop down and find the other texture and do the same thing with it. Now in Fusion, I can go to Fusion, Import, Alembic Scene, then find our T-Rex right here, hit OK. So if we bring that to the scene, it brought in our T-Rex model, but it doesn't have any textures now. So let's go to our folder and bring in these textures. So that may emerge node, we don't need that. So now we have two media ends, a color map and a roughness map. So with the color map selected, I'm going to add a blend and plug that into our dinosaur. And then with the roughness map, I'm gonna plug that into the specular intensity material. That's looking a little bit shiny for me. So under the specular, I'm just gonna play around with the intensity and the exponent. So if you wanna add another layer of detail, you can add a create bump map, plug the color into that, and then add a bump map. So we can bring that to the viewer. So in the bump map, I'm gonna change the source image type to bump map. And then in the create bump map, I'm just going to bring up the height scale. We can plug this into our blend. You can see that add another layer of detail. I think that's a little bit strong, so maybe bring it to uh, somewhere around uh, maybe seven. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Rawr, I'm a dinosaur. Now it is worth mentioning that these models are not rigged. So if you want to animate them, you'll have to either rig them in Blender or get creative. Like in this shot where I used the Bender 3D node to make the wings of the dragon flap. Now a great way to integrate these models with your footage is 3D camera tracking, and you can learn how to do that for free in this video right here.